Chipotle coffee grinder to go with my Chipotle coffee maker, which I really like. This allows me to make my own fresh coffee grounds from coffee beans. And I just want to show you how easy it is to use this. Um, just first thing you want to do is you want to wash all the corners and this is a coffee um, ground catcher here. You can wash this in soapy with some soap and water, neutral soap and water. And there's a, the um, basket and the basket cover and also this little spoon here with a brush. You can wash that with soap and water. Um, this is the upper grinder, I think it's called, and you're not supposed to burst this ever in water. And this usually says to clean it with a wet, bent, damp towel and then to use the brush afterwards. So just basically be careful when you clean this also. It might be a little sharp. Don't immerse this in water, which is what I'm getting from the instructions. And for this interior area, you can use this little brush to clean it out. You know, um, clean it out the grounds. Anyways, um, just read the instructions and be careful. I would not put your fingers in there. Because uh, there looks like some blades down there that kind of look kind of sharp. Um, it simply goes in here and you rotate this clockwise and locks in place. So it just, you know, you can tell it's secure. When you're putting this on, this took me a little bit to figure out. Well, not that long, but this part here is important. Just make sure it's near this part here so when you turn it, it locks. If you put it over here, you know, it's not going to really lock. And, um,. And there's these notches, there's three of them. And then the, you know, we want one to go into this spot here. And there's other spots for the other ones. And then you want to line up this little thing here. So basically you put it in like this and turn the whole thing clockwise. It locks or it click. And you want to make sure this is um, flat towards you, towards the front. So now then you take some coffee beans, whichever you want, drop in the hopper here. Plug it in to the wall, tap on, and you want to set, see it's blinking three times, it's not at zero, I guess so when it's on zero it goes five times, and then you want to set this uh, to, if you're going to do brew coughing, you do a medium, uh, if you want to do um, espresso, uh, you do fine, I guess you do extra fine if you want, but you do fine, if you want to do French coffee press, you do coarse. Okay, so I generally, they have a French coffee press, but I generally use a brew coffee, and I'm not a big espresso drinker. So then you just push the button here, and it will grind based on how much you want. I set this at two right now. See that blinking here? It means it's set. And I push the button. <laughs> It stops automatically based on how much I want. Say I want more, okay? Say I want four cups, right? Push it again. It goes longer. And then when I'm done, maybe you'll have to set this there, but I will. And I pull it out. And I look at mine, and I have some nice medium ground coffee. Looks beautiful. Kind of reminds me of my pencil sharpener. Um, and I'll just add this to my coffee. Have some delicious coffee. So I recommend the Ciboli coffee bean grinder. I really like it. Simple to use, simple to clean. Looks nice on my counter along with other appliances I have and um, thank you for listening to my review.